Hello. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to sort of dispense with the pleasantries and assume that you know why you're here. Um, you know that trying to replace a file or an animation within action.pap with one that isn't or the other way around, that that doesn't work well within VFX editor itself and you need some sort of outside help. And for that, we're going to use XAT. And I will put a link to that in the description. But when you go to download it, what you want is this XAT.zip right here. You don't want the Dalamud plugin or the Blender add-on. Those are different things entirely. All right, so for this example, what I'm going to do is I am going to replace the end animation of High Fire 2 with a Flatus Misery. Now, High Fire 2 is in action.pap and Misery is not. So what we're going to do is first we're going to extract our PAP files. So I'm going to open up VFX editor. We're going to go to PAP and then here I've already kind of navigated to a Flatus Misery, but you do click on the top magnifying glass, type in the name of the spell. We're going to click select, close this, and then I'm going to click this little page icon right here that says export as raw file. So we'll do that. I'm just going to put it on my desktop and we'll call this Misery. If I have my fingers on the right part of the keyboard. Okay, there we go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to, well, I could search for basically any spell that's within action.pat, but I said I'm using high fire too, so um, we'll do that. So here we go, select, and that's going to take me to, as you see here, action.pat, and we will extract this action. There we go. And now I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and go to XAT and you can see, so we, we got our, we got our PAP files, but we need an SKLB file. And there's a couple ways you can go about doing this first. Well, and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to use text tools. So if I open up text tools here. What I need to do is I need to extract the, the pile, the pile, extract the file from this path. And this is the human skeleton. Um, I'll put this in the description as well. So you don't, you know, you can just copy it from there. So I'm just going to grab this copy. Then I'm going to go to tools, raw file operations, extract raw file. And then I will paste in that path like so. And then we will just call it. We'll put this on my desktop too. And we'll call this Midlander M. And there we go. So that has extracted properly. Now we can close text tools. Another way you can do that if you don't have text tools, you can use. Um, XIV Data Explorer. Uh, you can see here I'm within the 40,000 index, and then you would just navigate to that area of the of the path. So you can see here's Kara Human C101 Skeleton, and that's you know that's where I've navigated to. That's this folder, and then here's the SKLB file within it. So you could do it that way if you wanted, and then you can just do file extract raw. So that works too. Um, but there we go. We have our PAP now and we have our SKLB. So let's go ahead and actually do the swap. So I'm going to minimize the game. And we will add in our SKLB like that. And so again, what I said that I want to do is I want to change the end of High Fire 2 to Aflatus Misery. So I'm going to load in Misery this. I'm going to select its animation. 
And then I'm going to go over here to export and say FBX export. And then we'll call this misery as well, like so. And now I need to switch things out. I need to change the PAP file. So I'm going to click this again. This time we're going to go to action. And now here I need to scroll through this list and we need to get to BLK3B. So I went way past it. Um, as that is the end of High Fire 2. So here we go. Here's BLK3B. So we're going to click that one. And then here we're going to go to import and select my file. Here's my misery FBX. And now I'm going to select the track. It'll just be called XAT. And we say import. Now, the important thing here to note is this says 86 frames. So what we're going to do now is go over here to timeline. We're going to go and look for our C009 track. So you click on the actor, and it'll be under one of these tracks here. Here's C009. And then we're going to change this to that number that we noted. So in this case, it was 86, like that. And now we're good to go. We can save this. So we'll save this. We'll call this I don't know, action two, like that. Here we go. Now I can go back to the game. And what I'm going to do is click this top magnifying glass. This time I'm going to go to local file. And here, we are going to open up that action to PAP like so. And then we are going to go to the replaced and again, high fire two. And we're, we want the end. So we're going to do that. But again, it doesn't really matter because it's just taking us to action.pap. So, I mean, you could, like I said, essentially type in any spell that will take you to action.pap. Um, but there we go. And now we will say update. And if I target this dummy here and I hit high fire two, you should see I spin right at the end there like that. And I use I use misery and not the normal the normal throw of BLK three B. So there we go. That's how it's done. I hope that this was helpful and you can swap some spells around a little bit more and, you know, have some fun.